Hello guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Google Forms to get leads. But before we begin, please hit that like button to show us your support and help our videos reach more people. Now let's get started. Are you using Google Forms to collect data from your leads? Lead generation forms are beneficial for your business to collect contact information from potential customers or clients. Google Forms can be used to collect data from people and use it to get leads. Now access Google Forms. Choose Blank Form. Let's create an event feedback form. Write the title of the form and add a short description below. Add the question to get their name. Next, add another question asking about their email address. We can click on the plus icon or use the duplicate icon from the first question then edit the question to get their email address. Next, let's add another question where we can add your Facebook page. Copy your Facebook page link, then use it as an option so that people can follow you. And this is how they will see it as they fill out the form. They can click on it and be redirected to your Facebook page. Now let's add another question relevant to the event. It will automatically set this question as a linear scale. This helps users use numbers from 1 to 10. Then add a label below about the lowest and the highest number. You can use the first label as not satisfied and the highest number for very satisfied. This is how the linear scale will appear as a user answers the form using a linear scale. Next, add another question asking a user to write comments or suggestions that can be helpful for your future events. Google Form automatically chooses the right option as a paragraph since users might compose a long message here. Now let's make sure all of these questions are set to required. After your event, you can inform the attendees to fill out an event feedback form. Using this form can be a great way to get their information without forcing them to fill it out. Now let's create another example for getting leads. Create a blank form. This form is for people who might be interested to join your class or program. Then write the title and the description. Next, add the questions asking for their information. When asking for their contact number, we can use a response validation to make sure that they don't enter random numbers or enter just one character. Then set the error message here. Now set it as required. Now let's go to the settings tab. Under Responses, you can enable Collect Email Addresses and then send responders a copy of their responses. You can also enable Limit to One Response Only. When you receive responses, you can view this spreadsheet icon with a text linked to Sheets. Click on this icon. You can select a response destination. From this window, you can choose to create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. From this window, you can select from the available spreadsheets here. For now, let's create a new one. When you click on this link, you can see a preview of the form responses here. It shows all the questions that you have created. And once you receive tons of responses, this data will be filled out. So that's it for today's video. But before the video ends, here's something you shouldn't miss. If you need to create landing pages, funnels, lead pages in just a few clicks, we have a marketing app that can help you build a successful online business. You can create beautiful web pages, click and modify, and you don't need to learn how to do coding. You can create funnels with upsells, downsells, or order bumps. You can grab leads and send emails using cloud funnels. It also supports all major payment gateways, and you can offer memberships to your customers. With Cloud Funnels, you can create any type of business website, landing page, and funnel. Build your profits using memberships. Profit forever with email marketing. So try Cloud Funnels now. Go to the URL yournextfunnel.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.